Finley. Thank you. Hi. How's the gang? How are all the friends doing? Good. Everybody's doing great. Great. We're having a good time. Fourth year. Can't believe it. That is amazing. Isn't it? Now, do you guys, do you guys ever argue? Are there, are there fights? Um, you know, no. We don't have fights. Um, we have, we're a little competitive sometimes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like about what? Um, all right. Well, I'll tell you something that funny actually happened. Um, one day I was on the set, and right. I was uh, sitting around, and I was reciting this line, like doing this imitation of Anthony Michael Hall. He has this line in a movie. Um, the line is, uh, chicks cannot hold a smoke. That's what it is. And Matthew Perry <laughs> walks over to me and very adamantly says, oh, oh, weird science. I said, no, Matthew, that's, um, that's the breakfast club. A breakfast club, yeah. Okay. And um, he was 100% sure that it was weird science, and I was 100% sure it was the breakfast club. And for the next three hours, we were totally obsessed with this. It was the most important thing in our lives to find out what right. is the actual answer. I mean, everyone was getting involved. We were calling our friends. The boom operators were coming down, you know, speaking their mind. And everyone was so sure it was the movie they thought it was. Right. And both of them, it was very mixed. So we had people checking the Internet. We, um, <laughs> the Internet. We had someone to go out and get the tapes. And we were really, like, going nuts about this. And... Um, the bet kept rising. First it was $20, and then we're like, no, nah, that's not good enough. And then it was, um, you know, Matthew said, um, well, I know, if I win, I, I get to sleep with you. <laughs> and um, they said, and, and if you win, you get to sleep with me. And I was like, <laughs> not good enough. Yeah, yeah baby, no. Um, <laughs> so uh, anyway, um, finally we said, okay, you know, it's got to be something really good. And Matthew said, yeah, let's make it something that when you give the present, the other person has to go. Aww. And I was like, no, I want, yeah. Right. So um, anyway, we realized that Judd Nelson was over on stage 29 doing Suddenly Susan. So um, we ran over there and found out that, yes, indeed, it was The Breakfast Club. So you were right. And I won the bet. Well, that's great. Oh, well, that's no, so what did, so what did you, what, what did you win? Well, um, I held out for the yes. And, yeah. um, well, I think I did a pretty good job. I think I got a really. <laughs> you all right? Uh, <sighs> Months of that. Matthew, Five more months yeah. as, as your man slave. My man slave. Oh, very, very, very impressive. Is it good? Yeah. I definitely went, yeah. <laughs> so. Now, listen, you know, I, as I said, I spoke to your mom, oh. and, and I said you were coming on, and mom was very helpful. She oh. gave me some things early from your career. I think this stuff is great. Now, I didn't know this. You are also like a female Fabio, right? <laughs> oh. you, you pose for book, for romance book covers? Do you remember... Do you remember? <laughs> I feel like I'm on the OJ trial. Do you remember this piece of business? <laughs> look at, look at your name of this book: Secrets of the Dark. Ooh, look at, and I like the flashlight. I like the flashlight because you see it's dark. You see. <laughs> now, how, how old are you here? Like 11? How old? Are you? I was about 18 oh, or 19. I and can't believe you have that picture. I just like that. And and uh, ooh, yeah. Uh oh. This. Oh no. But this is. I guess you entered the. This is when you entered the Paula Jones big hair competition. <laughs> Mom thought you looked lovely in this. I like the way you got to pan back because really it's important to see the boots. Look at the boots. Into, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and of course, uh, my oh, wait. favorite. Oh my gosh! Hold what on. Is that? What is that? Okay, <laughs> this is actually really funny. Um, this oh, is this a this is a letter that I wrote. I used to be with um, the Ford Modeling Agency, the, right. the children's division. But that and, was like a big deal, right? Oh, it was a really big deal. Yeah. Um, and, but I wrote this letter to them that's, that, okay, here, I'll just read it. Um, Dear Howard, this is, I guess, one of the guys you have to write to. Um, <laughs> due to the fact that I would like to pursue a career more involved with commercials, which I can't believe that was my total aspiration, um, I would like to cancel my arrangement with Ford. I believe that my height, 5'6", I've never been 5'6", I'm 5'5", five, five, I just lied the whole time, prevents me from fulfilling the ideals of a Ford model, and I hope you'll understand my decision. Okay, I just wanted to show you like what my, my modeling consists of. Oh, that's a good I think I had other reasons besides my height. That's a great look. All right? <laughs> no one wants to make fun of it, but come on, that is the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. You know, oh, that's... and here's my makeover. Oh, this one is great. Now, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> this is you 
in the that's makeup. Before. You know, Chanel, that's before. That's before. That's what you look. And up. you wonder why I didn't okay. make this modeling. I'm no, glad I can clear this up. No, but look at all the look at all the steps. There she is. There. Look at that. There. That's the famous prison shower scene. There she is. Now that's a very attractive a look. One. And this is what. That's the after. And this is the improvement. <laughs> yeah. And there she is. There she is right there. There you go. How about that, huh? Yeah. Woo. Man. No wonder. Queen of the double wide. There you go. Double wide? Double wide trailer, apparently. That's a, you got the earring. <laughs> see, I think I that was see, why. I have to thank your mom for sending me, though. Yeah, I do, too. I will thank her later. <laughs> now, let me ask you something. Now, you're, obviously, you guys are very popular. You have a lot of fans. But who are you a fan of? Are there people that you got? Oh, I wish I could meet that person. Are there? Are there uh, do you have people you idolize? Um, yes. Well, uh, um, this actually happened to me. Um, my favorite movie was The Full Monty. Oh, it's a great movie. Yeah. Saw it twice in one week. Yeah. I really was just completely obsessed with this film. And one day I was—I remember kind of not being in a great mood. I was walking down to the stage, and all of a sudden someone said to me, "Courtney, the guys from The Full Monty are here." Sorry, that's my Kleenex. Oh. I didn't really sneeze. <laughs> um, no, I, Oh, God, I just gave it away. Um, anyway, uh, I, um, I, uh, they were actually there. Yeah. And I got, I was so enthralled. I was so freaked out that they were there that I literally walked up and said, Oh, my God, I love you so much. I can't believe that you're here. And I got to kiss each one of you. And I got my picture taken with them. And they thought I was the biggest freak. <laughs> because, you know, they were, they were actually fans of the show. And all of a sudden, you see this girl who just, I had them sign stuff for me. I just was so floored. Well, that's pretty neat, yeah. Yeah, but then they came to my house, and I cooked them dinner. They came to your house? Yes, we became friends after they realized I wasn't too right, fanatically right. weird. And um, they came to my house to cook them dinner, and they took their clothes off. But They yeah. did the full Monty thing again. They did. This manslave thing seems to be a I constant know. theme in your life. Hey, let me ask something. Do you know um, what the fastest land animal is? Fastest land animal? Yeah, I was just thinking about that. Uh, I don't know. Uh, not a tiger. I don't know. All right. All right. What's the fastest land animal? The cheetah. <laughs> it really works out well. But now you're in Scream 2. Did you, let me ask you about this. Did you think this first one would become such a huge monster hit? Um, well, I knew the script was great. And yeah, yeah. I think Wes Craven is an amazing director and... Um, I kind of did. I saw a lot of the footage as, yeah. I was, as we were doing it, and it's just, he's so great. And Kevin Williamson is a brilliant writer. And I, just had you a, scream your head off of this new one? Ugh, oh, I scream so much. I actually got strep throat <laughs> twice during the movie, just screaming so much. Does, I mean, you just scream all day? <laughs> all day. I mean, it, but it's, it's great. I just had a good time doing it. And, yeah. and this one's, I think it's actually scarier than the first one. Yeah, yeah. yeah which, so that opens in a couple of weeks, right? December the 12th. Well, that's great. Will you come back and see us again? I sure will. Will you see that your mom gets this stuff back? I'll see you go someplace. <laughs> but, man, I know you have to run. Thank you very much, Matthew Perry. Thank you very much, Courtney Cox. Be right back with Emma Lagasse right after this. <laughs>